Hey everybody, Double Down Reviews here. Do a quick look at this new Jurassic World 2 Jurassic Park Legacy series that hit stores today. Just do a quick look at some of the figures we picked up over the weekend and this morning. Um, the, this Legacy line has a uh, Jeep from the first movie, and it's got a Velociraptor from The Lost World. Uh, we got classic characters, Ellie Sattler, Robert Muldoon, and Alan Grant in a 375 size. And we got one of the T-Rexes. I believe there's three different versions of T-Rexes yep. out right now. Yeah. It's got a little bite in action, cool neck articulation, arms move up and down, its tail moves side to side. It's actually a pretty awesome figure with the, uh, the neck articulation. Just makes it for me. I love it. Yeah. It's cool seeing that these figures come back, and now that we're getting like these legacy figures, all the stuff that we wanted to get when we were little. And we're getting the chance to get it now that we're adults. <laughs> we can buy them ourselves. We can buy them we don't ourselves. need to ask anybody for this. I don't even need you, Mom! <laughs> uh, so this is the Legacy stuff, and this is all Target exclusive. Anything in this Legacy collection will be exclusive to Target stores. Uh, and so the Legacy collection is just like the stuff from previous movies? Yeah, sounds like they're doing stuff from 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And, and then the rest of the and other places will be Soon there's going to be more waves. Yeah. Okay. And this will all be... Uh, Fallen Kingdom new stuff here. So we got the Stegosaurus from that series. Picked up uh, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> Couldn't remember her name. Uh, I was going to say Hope, but I don't think it's Hope. <laughs> uh, and then one of the gyrospheres that the figures oh. can fit into and it rolls around. That's um, really cool. They actually did it where it stays. Yeah, actually it stays like a gyrosphere. <whistles> and each of the legacy figures come with little compies. That you can just attach onto their legs or arms or the Jeep or whoever. The Jeep rolls nice and smooth. The winch actually pulls out of this thing. Ooh. So you can attach it to something or whatever, and then you just turn the little winch here and it pulls it back in. Do any of the figures have battle damage stuff yet? Aside from. Uh, I mean, I, I see that this is the big. There's like big a crack on it. Crack on there. But I didn't know if any of the. None of these figures and none of like the Jeep rips apart or anything, but uh, I believe Walmart's line is all exclusive to battle damage stuff. All the dinosaurs have like a spot on them that like opens up and reveals damage. So we're gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> we can check. They got an exclusive line. Toys R Us had an exclusive, but they're closed now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the T Legacy T Rex in scale with these figures, and then we have I picked this up as well. <laughs> Which is also a Target exclusive. Oh, 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 oh. A super colossal, over three feet long T Rex. Which is not really in scale with any of these figures, but just awesome looking. <laughs> like, they did, Mattel did such an awesome job with this thing. Yeah, looks really uh, cool. And, uh, look at that. He opens his mouth. Open its mouth up. You can take a figure, throw him right down his gullet. Just like that. That's Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's gone. Just like that. And then there's a little hatch on his stomach that you can open up and retrieve your figures. On the box it said this thing can hold 26 figures. <laughs> literally, eat 20, eat, literally eat every Jurassic Park figure you have. So if you ever gotta clean up your kids' toys, you buy them this. <laughs> yep. Have a T-Rex eat them all, your house is clean. His neck is made of like a soft rubber, kind of like the old Jurassic Park 1 Lost World figures. And then the same with the tail, it's kind of like a soft, squishy rubber. The main body is all a hard cast plastic. Same with the head. The jaw opens up like that. Uh, really sick figures. And what we would say this is probably in scale with like six inch figures. Yeah. Because these are three, seven, five. Yeah, six or seven inch figures seem to fit well with this, like Black Series or uh, Marvel Legends type okay. scale. Okay. Okay. Fit well with these figures. Uh, this guy is a Target exclusive. There's a Walmart exclusive version that looks the same but has battle damage on it, like blood and claws. And then he also roars as an electronic thing that he roars. But hmm. he's kind of got a weird like speaker mount here and he looks funny, but. Water. He's still cool looking. He's still this big, and it's awesome. This was fifty-five bucks for this size figure. That is not which bad. Which is a good deal, uh, I believe. The Jeep I think it was, was like fourteen or fifteen. This is yeah, fourteen ninety-nine. This guy was nineteen ninety-nine. The uh, legacy figures were seven ninety-nine, uh, and they each come with like an accessory. Robert Muldoon came with, comes with the shotgun. Ellie comes with the flashlight and the compi, and Grant came with a flare gun. There's a Malcolm coming and hopefully some more. Uh, yeah. 
the Triceratops and uh, some others I don't have yet are part of the Roravores line, where you push that button and they do something and make a noise, like who open their mouth. That, who else is going to be in that line? Uh, that's like a Carnosaur and I don't remember. Allosaurus, oh, okay. Baryonyx, stuff like that. Big, oh, and they big. actually added like articulation, articulation yeah. to them, not just you know being able to go up and down. Forward and back, yeah, they're almost like on a hinge yep. actually. Which joints. is really cool. You can have them stepping a little differently and yep. mm -hmm. it rolls. And so like the arms actually fold out a little as well as in and then front and back. So you can kind of get a little more posing out of your dinosaurs. And then you got this thing that swings its tail. Oh, yeah! <laughs> And he, yeah, his, which one is this? This one? The, yeah, yeah. Right there. Push this, and he swings his tail around, which is a soft rubber. Yeah, he's got articulation on his head, too. So they can twist up and down, back and forth. Uh, there's These are such a step up from Jurassic World 1's figures. Mm -hmm. that those were just a travesty. I wanted no part of those. <laughs> uh, but I'm like obsessed with this whole line already, so I want all of these being a huge Jurassic Park fan. This is a G.I. Joe figure, just to show you a size comparison with G.I. Joes. They're actually slightly smaller than a G.I. Joe. So maybe like just under 375. Uh, Alan Grant compared to the old Kenner line. And this one's actually more movie accurate. It's just like 35 years late. Yeah, it actually, yeah. This guy's just wearing like a blue t-shirt with a pocket on it. Some, some knee pads. Yeah. And this one actually looks like Sam Neill. It's actually... The sculpt is there. The, yeah. The sculpt looks really good. Paint apps are a little iffy, and the clothes are just basic, like one color. Does he have no, his, like, uh, wash or anything. Does he have his bandana? He, he, the, even yeah, has, the, he even has the bandana. Red bandana. Uh, Kelly the door locks. <laughs> we got the, oh, sorry. the raptor here, and then the original Kenner raptor. Yeah, guys out here. Get a look, comparison-wise. Pretty close. Uh, I actually really like the sculpt on this one. It's got sweet. I like the sculpt face. and the color scheme. Yeah, and I, I believe this one is more like the Lost World. They're they're more like orangish in that, and he's got an articulated jaw to open up. His head moves left and right and up and down. His hands move in and out, forward and back. His legs don't really move, but he does have this little feature. Where you push down like this, and his legs fold up, and you let go. And he launches up in the air. <laughs> Stay out of the long grass. <laughs> Uh, and then, wasn't there something with the the original one where it's like its head would bob or something like that? I think you just like push the back of his neck or something. I thought there was. Some, I thought there and was like something. he just opened his mouth. Oh, is that like what when it was? his head like just, he pushed it down. I, I thought there was something to do with like his head was up and the mouth was closed. And when you pushed it down, it like opened. Ah, uh, gotcha. I don't know, they're all like these things are all full of sand because we had them in the sandbox when we were kids. Uh, here's a we were collectors yet. <laughs> Original Jeep compared to the new $14 one. Um, once again, this is actually more movie accurate. Yeah, there, there, was no, there was no cannons or missile cranes. <laughs> uh, any of that stuff in the, in the movies that I remember. Plus, this thing goes for like $100 complete on eBay, and this thing's $14.99 and is awesome. So I want to get another one of these and customize yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> buy a couple of them, dirty them up, throw some mud on them. And then we'll have the original red T-Rex from the Kenner line, original Jurassic Park series, just to show a little comparison of paint apps and whatever. And this Size one is like the full rubber body, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, this when this came out, I think it was twenty nine ninety nine, And I paid 75 for it, <laughs> just to get this back. Uh, but yeah, he's completely rubber. This one's all soft, uh, a hard rubber body here. There's no like rubber areas on this. Hard plastic. So everything everything on the new one is cast? This is all hard plastic. Okay. Yeah. But this guy can't turn his head like this one. That's true. Look at it. No, nope, can't. Doesn't stay. So yeah, uh, this is all uh, in stores now. Every, everybody has their exclusives. Walmart has the battle damage exclusives. Target has the legacy exclusive with the original booby figures. How did you get the head to open, mouth to open? There's a button on the back of his head up here. Ah. The way they did that, a even, lot the way, of, even the way that its mouth opens, looks. They perfect. were able to hide a lot of the seams and everything. There's another T Rex between this one and this humongous giant one called the Thrash and Throw. I don't have that. He is, I think, forty dollars, and he's electronic and he like moves his tail and he like roars and like chomps and stuff. It looks pretty good though. It looks pretty cool. 
uh, this whole line so far is really impressive. <laughs> but what are we waiting for? Let's go pick Let's it up! Stuff. All right, so these are all available now, and they're an awesome series, and we're looking forward to the next one. So go pick these up, and we'll see you on the next review. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.